So when you're ready, you ready na yung ano mo, yung packet mo. So ang ginawa ko I bought the clear um like a folder like this one. Let me show you. Pero hindi gano ka ka thick kasi perfect eh. Pero para siyang ganito. Tapos nilagay ko na dito sa front page yung ano ko, yung cover cover letter ko dito pa nilagay. Tapos every pages may nakaano talaga dito na kanin on top kung ano talaga siya para hindi na sila mahirapan. They just have to to flip the pages and makikita na talaga niya. Christy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new and you haven't subscribed me yet, please don't forget to subscribe me. Below the video, you will find that subscription button and include the bell as well so that you will get notified every time I will be uploading a new video. Today, um, I share ko sa inyo, um, the petition to remove condition of your residence. Um, if you are granted on a conditional or CR1 visa after two years before the expiration that they give to you 90 days before you have to apply the petition to remove the condition so first we have to do the form we have to fill out the form I'm going to walk through walk you through uh, the filling out the form I-751 okay there you go. Okay, so this is the form. When you filled out the form, make sure you type orphaned with in the black ink, okay? Black ink only, shamasis. E part one information about you. So you write your name, your last name, your first name, and your middle name, okay? And then other name use if you have other name used you put in here but no not applicable any and then other information date of birth month month date and year okay and then country of birth here philippines country of citizenship here alien registration number eh, this can be found in your green card nasa front talaga to siya okay my a minus to so yun yung number okay social security number lagay mo dito and then Kung may account ka, wala. So, no. Leave that blank. Marital status, married, and then yung date of marriage niyo, okay? Month, date, and year. Place of marriage, okay? And then, if you get divorced or your husband died, so, ilagay mo dito yung date na na-divorce kayo, month, date, and year. And, kung namatay yung asawa mo, ilagay mo dito yung date, month, date, and year na namatay, na namatay siya, okay? And then, conditional residence expire, yung expiration date ng green card mo. So here, page two, part one, where we talk about you, the conditional residence, okay? Your mailing address mo, lagay mo yung name mo dito, okay? Address, street number and street name, ito pag apartment kayo or whatever, and then yung kung wala yun, city na lang, at saka state mo, at saka zip code, okay? And then kung magkaiba yung mailing address niyo, so yes, kung hindi, no, okay? So, kung mag-answer ka dito ng no, kasi same lang yung mailing address mo sa physical, so leave this blank. So, and then here, other information. Ansilan mo to? No? No, no? And then here. So, kung, nag, kung ang yung hong nagpakasal ka na, if you're married, kung kasal ka, tapos iba yung, yung nag, ano sa nyo, nag-petition sa yo, so ilagay mo yes, kung hindi, no? And then kung nakatira ka ba sa ibang um, may ibang address ba kayo dati since na naging permanent residence ka kami yes kasi lumipat kami so kung nag answer ka ng yes i-provide mo yung information kung anong mga address mo within that 2 years na nandito ka sa America okay? and then yung spouse mo kung currently serving ba siya sa US or employed sa US government so no and then yung biographic information mo so 
not Hispanic, raised, Asian, and then height. Yung height mo, weight, and then eye color mo, and then yung. That's it. Page 3 na tayo. Okay. So here, nag-joint piling kayo ng asawa mo. So asawa mo. Kasi siya yung kag-joint piling mo. And then here, kung namatay niyo yung asawa, kung ikaw na lang mag-isa, nag-pile. So ito yung mga boxes na yan. Um, check mo kung ano ang bagay sa iyo. Okay? Kung ano ba talaga ang... Uh, so number 4 na tayo. So information about your US citizen spouse. So spouse ko siya. So ito lang ko spouse. And then here yung last name ng asawa ko, yung given name niya, at saka middle name niya, at saka date of birth niya. Okay? Month, date, and year yon At saka yung US, US social security number niya. Okay? Physical address niya. So pariho kami same. Then yung answer niyo. And then here about your children kasi wala kaming anak. So in A lang applicable. Pero kung may anak kayo, and yung number one child ninyo, number two, kasi limang child yung provided nila. Ilagay mo yung information ng anak mo, ba So, sa part five na, ilagay mo yung address niya kasi wala kami, so in even. So, same thing, if you have child number two, ilagay mo information and address saan siya nakatira, ba And then, child three, same, and then same day address, and then child four, okay? So, page five na, part five, information about your children, same pa din, continuous lang siya, so until five, children number five mo, kung five yung anak mo, ilista mo lahat la dito, okay? And then, ako wala, so skip ko lang to, dito na ako sa part six, okay? Part six dito, ansiran mo siya ng, kung kailangan mo ba ng accommodation, so no. Kung asaw mo, kailangan ng accommodation dahil may disability siya, no. Kung anak mo, kailangan ng accommodation dahil may disability siya, no pa din. Okay, kung may disability siya yung anak mo or sino ba o ikaw ba o yung asaw mo, kailangan mo ng accommodation. So, answer yes. So, kailangan mo siyang i-provide dito kung anong klaseng disability ang meron siya or meron ka. Okay? Part 7. Okay? Here, petitioner statement contract. So, ikaw to. sa to. Para to sa'yo. So, ito here. Petitioner statement. Here, kung maka, ano ka ba, makabasa, makasabot ka ba, maka-understand ka sa English, so click mo tong box. Pag hindi, pag na nag kailangan mo interpreter, ilagay mo dito. Okay? And then, information mo, ilagay mo yung cellphone number mo. And cellphone number mo, same din yung ginawa ko. Same dito, same dito, anak, email address ko. Okay? And then here, nilagay ko yung complete name ko. I, yung complete name. Okay? Continuation sa ano mo. Dito, after mo nag- fill up doon dito, makita mo sa page 7, ang um, petitioner signature. Make sure you sign this one because this is very important, okay? And then you write the month and date na nag-sign mo to, okay? And then the bottom part 8 is gonna be the information about your husband. Here. So, kung asawa mo maka-understand ng English and can read English, so, X that box there, okay? Like that. And if ever, so dito, kung saan siya na bibilang mo, okay? And then, your spouse contact information mo, yung cellphone niya, same din. Dito yung lagay ko, same cellphone number, same dito. And then, na email address niya. Okay? Page 8 na tayo, spouse individual. So, continuation to sa spouse mo, information sa asaw mo. So, here, ilagay mo yung complete name niya also. I, complete name niya. And then, dito na, sa signature, make sure nag-sign siya. At saka date, month, date, and year yung nag-sign siya. Okay? And then, kung may interpreter kayo, wala, in a may address ng interpreter, wala. So, it's David Tank na lang, okay? Okay, same sa page 9, in, about interpreter, wala din. So, you can leave it blank. But, kailangan mo tong isali din sa packet mo. Do not leave this out, okay? Kahit na blank to, leave it blank na lang, okay? And then, here, same sa page 9 na, same pa din. About the prepares, kung may nag-prepare sa'yo, wala, so leave it blank. O lagyan mo ng NA, okay? And then, part 11, this is the part 11 here, page 11 na. This is the additional information. Kasi doon sa mga ano mo, ba may mga tanong doon na kailangan may provide, like me, my addresses na within the 2 years na nakatira ako dito sa Amerika, kung ano, saan ba ako nakatira, ba Kailangan ko yung ilagay. So here, ba page 2 yon ay ko yung page number. Ilagay mo din yung, yung name mo here, last name, first name, middle name, okay? And then the alien number. So page 2 yon ilagay ko page number, and then item number. Item number 22, nakalagay din doon, ba So ilagay mo number 1, sa yung mga address niyo number 2, okay? So yun lang, that's it. Simple. Okay, the next step is 
after you filled out the form, you are gonna gather all your documents. So, these are the list, diba? a copy of the notice received. So, you need a copy of the notice you received. Like this one. So, ilagay ko yun then sa clip. And then, complete completed I-751 form signed and dated which we just did so that's done and then the second one you need a copy of your passport and your green card as well you need to put uh, you need to copy the passport the front and also the back by signature yun. and also the green card the same thing front and back and then you're gonna need a two by two colored ID you know <laughs> and then a cup and then a letter uh yung ano yung mortgage niyo ano niyo kung nagrain kayo letter from your uh, uh I don't know letter from your ano yung landlord niyo na nagrain kayo at diyan kayo nakatira talaga so yeah that one and then your the sworn affidavit so gumawa pa ko ng sworn affidavit by my US citizen friend assisting our marriage and relationship you know so nagpaipakita ko sa inyo din ng example niyan so okay so nag ano ako nag asa ko ng three close friend ko dito na they know about our relationship na they can prove nakita talaga nila yung relationship namin is genuine so yon um nagawa ko ng letter and nag-sign lang sila so i will show it to you And then the copy of tax statement for 2000. The copy of tax statement. Tax statement. So yung copy ng tax niyo, which ang amin kasi we receive in our checking account. So yun lang yung hinano ko na lang siya. Pin pinifrent out ko na lang siya from our um from our statement from Bank of America kasi nakasure doon na yung tax namin statement na nareceive talaga namin yung tax and then yung tax return din namin mismo so yeah and then copy sa a copy of our uh, car insurance so yeah yun nilagay ko copy of our car lease you know joint ownership kasi yung car namin nung una ano yun lease pa yun and then yung bank statement namin yung naka joint account talaga both of your names so kailangan talaga naka joint account ka anything na mayroon kayo anything na prove na joint ka your name are both in the bill or anything so pwede mo siyang gamitin like for me ginawa ko copy of our health insurance card kasi uh, joint din kami sa aming policy sa health insurance namin and then yung yung ano pa din yung mga credit card na joint kami so nilagay ko din siya so yan so ipapakita ko sa inyo din paano gumawa ng copy as ng cover letter okay ipakita ko sa inyo yung sample so yeah ipakita ko to sa inyo lahat no like mga pictures and yung pictures pag nilagyan ko pa ng mga information below the picture pero yung pictures ko lang uh, printed lang yung sa computer mm -hmm ang um, ginawa ko na naglagin ako sa Facebook ko tapos yung mga picture namin together kasi most doon na kasi naka-upload yung mga picture namin nilagay ko siya sa Word at saka tinatype ko yung mga information doon kung anong picture yan you know to um let them know where we are you know this is where we are we celebrate birthday we celebrate Christmas together and the year as well and we went out somewhere together ganon at saka binigyan ako ng gifts ng asawa ko ganon so I include them all to to support na talaga our, our relationship are genuine so when you're ready you're ready na yung ano mo yung packet mo so ang ginawa ko ay both the clear um like a folder like this one let me show you like this one pero hindi gaano ka ka thick kasi ta thick to eh pero para siyang ganito tapos nilagay ko na dito sa front page yung ano ko 
yung cover cover letter ko dito ko nilagay tapos every pages may nakaano talaga dito na kanin on top kung ano talaga siya para hindi na sila mahirapan they just have to to flip the pages and makikita mo talaga niya so when you're ready na ganun yung gagawin niyo so that hindi sila mag ano pabitaw mag ganun ganito ganito pa sa mga pages mo so whereas yun easy lang yung pag flip nila at saka may information na on top kaya madali lang din yung ano ko yung um, removal of condition ko so yeah yun ang ginagawa ko so i-arrange mo siya uh, whatever yung nakalagay so ipakita ko whatever nakalagay dito arrange your, your documents Yeah, so para hindi sila maano. At saka, you have to include the $600 check. Oh, yeah. Payable to uh, USCIS. Yeah, you have to put that one in your payable. And then after you're ready, everything is packed in the packet. Nilagyan mo na ng label, lahat-lahat. Email mo na siya sa... Ang sa amin kasi California kami, so humanap kayo kung saan kayo na-stay, humanap kayo ng closer service center. Or anyway, malaman mo pala siya kasi this letter na pinapadala niya sa inyo, this one, na nakalagay doon kung saan mo siya isasubmit. So yeah, that's it. Submit mo na siya. And after few weeks, makareceive ka na ng ano, letter galing sa kanila na nareceive na yung documents mo. The NOAA one, that they receive your documents and then they're gonna set an schedule or appointment for you to go to um, your closers uh, by uh, uh, your closer support center for your biometrics and then after that yun lang yeah you after that you have to wait for a green card to get to be mailed to you kung wala talaga kang errors sa mga documents mo like me wala kong errors so after ng biometrics ko i j i only waited for uh, i think eight months and then I received my green card, my tenure green card. And then as soon as I get my tenure green card, na to the scene din ako. So yeah, hopefully um, this video will find helpful to all of you na nagpa process pa. I know it's really um, uh, stressing, di ba? Stressing talaga pag mga documents na ako nga nai-stress talaga ako. Sobra. I have to, ano talaga, Lahat, dami dami kasi di ba? Dami kailangan mo improve yung relationship niyo. Thank you so much. God bless everyone. Bye.